front seats are definitely not made for um, adult activities. <laughs> Got enough head space because you might be a little bit of that going on. Head while driving, yeah, I mean, I can admit that. I mean, that's a, like an easy thing though, like that's... Have you fucked your mouth? Nope. Oh. No, because I've always, I've normally you always... To, did you ever think about it? <laughs> <laughs> What it do, world? It's your boy D-Rich, man, aka The Green King. We back with another video. Hey, this video is finna be something different, man. And some of y'all might know this logo on my shirt. Some of y'all might not. If you don't, then, hey, you you an innocent person. But anyway, your boy's about to do a little video, man. It's like a carpool video. I'm about to interview this person real quick. And today, we are interviewing a old friend of mine. <laughs> which got into the adult film industry. So we finna see what that's about, man. So y'all stay tuned, man. Make sure y'all like, subscribe, and share this video, man, if you find it, you know, interesting, man. Please, you know what I'm saying? I like all the support y'all been giving me, and I appreciate y'all so much. So let's get to the video. Okay, so she got me meeting me. Ah, she, she got me meeting her at a water park, you know what I'm saying? Turning there right now, and it's kind of funny. <laughs> me, no porn star. Well, I don't know if she wanted me to call her that or not, but I mean, the star at water park like it's literally like a water park, no pun intended. You know what I'm saying? Got the water park going on here, but uh, yeah, so I don't see it all. <laughs> hey you. Hey. What's up? What's up? Long time no see. Is this true? Yeah. Alright, so put this way. Alright, we switching over to the dash cam. So the camera is right here. That's the one you you know, if you're gonna look at the audience, look them directly in their eyes right there. So <laughs> okay. Yeah. So yeah, buckle up. We about to ride. About to slide. So yeah. So for everybody that wants to know, what is your name? Alex. Alex. Y'all, this is Alex. This is a long time friend. I've known us since what, middle school? Yeah, sixth grade. Damn, sixth grade? Yeah. Shit. Yes. Yeah, I was great. innocent as hell back then. That is a lie. <laughs> oh man, that's crazy. So, you was telling me that you were getting into a certain type of industry. Yes, this is correct. The adult industry. The adult industry. Uh -huh. Okay. So. What leads you to be inside the adult industry? Like, why am I interested? Yeah, why are you interested? Um, I mean, to me, sex has always been just a part of my everyday life, even if it's just a conversation. Okay. Um, okay. I'm a hypersexual person. Hypersexual. And what, what's what's hypersexual? Um, so hypersexual is where anything. So sexual conversation, acts, all of that stuff. For me, it's normal. Okay. You know, some people try to make it seem like that's not the kind of conversations you should have on a day-to-day -day basis, or you should censor yourself when you're out in public. Uh, I don't see the point. Like, right. everybody does it. Why not just... Let it happen all the time. Yeah, like, it's, it's a normal you. conversation for me. Like, I can have that conversation with anybody, not even wanting to sleep with them or anything, just mm -hmm, what kind of stuff you like type stuff. Okay. So, well, I do X, Y, Z. What about you? 
okay. Just because it's interesting. I'm, I'm curious. It's part of life, so you might as well discuss yeah. it openly, right? Right. That's how I feel about it. Okay. I don't see the point in censoring it, especially since we're adults. There's for why. Yeah. Okay. Well, I understand that because I mean, I c I feel like I come off as managed sometimes. So, I mean. I can see that. Yeah. <laughs> so, you know, that that can be. Understandable. I understand that 100. Yeah, it's, I think it's only managed when it's coming from a man. <laughs> with yeah. women, you yeah, know, people have no issue with it for women. Well, except for other women. Um, All you sexist people out there. And older people, they don't think it's appropriate. You should behave like a lady. Mm -hmm. um, which you know, to each his own. Not my cup of tea. Right. So, um, he was also telling me about. A lifestyle that you're interested in that a lot of people not necessarily frown upon but might like <laughs> not you know disagree with it or just don't like it it's not necessarily that it's a lot of people just don't understand the concept or they don't grasp it it's it's definitely for open-minded people um, right um, basically the lifestyle of being poly or polyamorous or polygamy or whatever you want to call it okay so for them polyamorous polygamy what is it it's basically an open relationship so the easiest way to explain it is say you have a married couple a husband and a wife uh -huh. and they decide that they need a partner be it male or female that third person would be their unicorn okay. some people need what the name unicorn come from I have no idea I'm not gonna lie to you <laughs> I'm not gonna lie to you I don't know unicorn um but for some people, you know, say the wife wants a girlfriend, but she doesn't want to share her girlfriend. Well, in some instances, she gets to have a girlfriend, and the husband gets to have a girlfriend. It's just, it's different. There's different types of polygamy. Okay. How do you feel about porn stars? You think they deserve the respect? Yes. Okay. At the end of the day, they are doing it. At the end of the day, they have chose what type of work they want to do. Uh, Who cares if it's sexual? Yeah. People enjoy it. They're making people happy. They're entertainers. Right. I don't care what form of entertainment it is. Right. It's a form of entertainment. If you have porn stars, male and female, that are married, and if their spouse can respect them, then you need to mind your own business and lead them well enough known. It's their decision if they want to tell their kids or not. They don't have nothing to do with you. Yeah. So I, I don't think they should get any type of disrespect because at the end of the day, they're taking care of their families and mm. that's all I care about. Right, right, right. What, what kind of content are you, do you want to push out? Um, I'm big on the erotic photography. Okay. Um, so that's mostly where I want to focus. Um, I would like to do like alternate modeling, like, um, you know, fantasy, the whole fairies, and, but make it sexy. Right, right, right. Um, Yeah, it is art. Thank God. And it sounds like to me you're like a big um, energy type person. Yeah. Like, what, what got you into that? <laughs> uh, like with stones and stuff? You, mm, yeah, yeah. Yeah, I like my crystals and okay. my other things. <laughs> okay. Um, I've always been interested in it since I was a kid. Okay. But of course, you know, growing up with family, I was, you know, in church. Okay. Um, and there's nothing wrong with it. It's just for the longest time I did church just to make my family happy. Right. Because I knew it put a smile on their faces and yeah. it was something that they were hugely into and passionate about. Mm -hmm. But as I got older, I had too many questions. Yeah. I didn't understand. Nobody could really explain things to me. And it just didn't feel right. Mm -hmm. So when I switched over to my spirituality, um, it just felt right. It was more natural. I didn't feel weird doing it. Okay. It, it fit. Did you feel like you felt weird um, trying to make your people happy going to church all the time? Did you feel like it was, it was forced? It was draining. Draining? It was very draining and tiresome, and the small, slow times were forced. Okay. Yeah. What I've noticed, though, a lot of people that grew up in church turn out to be freaks. <laughs> um, 
that's what I that's I always see that. All like, I have to say on that is when I was in church, I was part of this um like Bible study group where we like did competitions with other churches. Uh -huh. Um and I went to a couple of dances that we had at my church. Right. All I know is I was still a virgin and the other girls in the church group was talking about boys they had slept with. Mm. So bad y'all bad. Y'all not supposed to be talking about that at church. <laughs> right. That was my thing. Like these are conversations <laughs> being had at church. Mm -hmm. And I was just like, mm -hmm. <laughs> 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 I was like, yeah, because back then, mm, even though I might have thought it, there was no way I was gonna say this if I loud because you was not gonna go back and snitch on me. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> but as I got older, it got really hard to censor my mouth. I think my mom sometimes she'd be like, girl, if you don't I'm sorry. I can't help it. <laughs> All right. What do you what do you like to look at? Like, what what entertains you? Um, as far as like pornography. Yeah. What? I'm not into regular porn. Like, no lie. Okay. Um, regular porn, honestly, I can sit up and watch it like it's a cartoon and not get bored. <laughs> Seriously, okay. like I, I just it does absolutely nothing for me. I sit there and critique it the whole time. Mm. Um, I am a huge hentai person. I really like hentai. I feel like they push the boundaries. They are big on taboo stuff. Some of it a little too taboo for me, per se. <laughs> but again, they push the boundaries, and I'm all for it. And yeah. you like stuff that it sounds like you like stuff that's not your everyday thing. Yeah, I'm not big on traditional anything. I guess. I don't know if you noticed, uh, this is a hentai shirt. No, I didn't notice that actually. Uh, hentai Haven. Google it. But this is not a sponsored video, by the way. Yeah. Yeah, hentai, I love anime, so that was like, ooh, anime and porn. I, yes, I'm so, <laughs> it was like instant connection. I, I used to watch hentai, but I don't, I don't really watch too much of it now. I mean. I don't think I have enough time to really watch it now. And if I do, sometimes I just watch it like it's a cartoon because it is anime. And I mean, again, that's like, you know, a everyday thing, so. Some some hentai, like, I actually sit there and sometimes watch it. They, some of them got pretty good story. Some of them do. Yeah, so that's, that's, that's interesting, okay. So are you like a, a anime fan? Huge. Huge anime fan? Yes. Okay. So what what kind of anime do you like? The gory kind. Gory kind. Yes. Okay. <laughs> Name a couple. Ooh, um, Tokyo Ghoul, <laughs> Elfin Lied, right, Baki. Um, Parasite was actually pretty good. Yeah, I like that one. Yeah. It's a lot of them. Demon Slayer, it's a lot. Yeah. It's a lot. The gorier for me, the better. Yeah. Um, I always tell people if you don't like. If you're not really into hentai, I mean, yeah, hentai. <laughs> if you're not into, <laughs> if you're not into anime, you should watch whatever whatever regular shows you like to watch. You should watch the anime version of that. Like, if you like fight, like sports and stuff like that, they got anime sports. They got um, gory, like scary stuff. They got you know gory stuff. Like yeah. what she named. Um, it's a lot out there, honestly. So like a promise never ends. Yeah, yeah. So I mean, the, it's it's open, you know. You just gotta find what what suits you. Cause I don't. I mean, just cause you like anime, I like anime. I don't like all anime. I mean, no, nah, cause some of it is too cutesy and too yeah. Uh, and it's just I don't yeah. Know. So I mean, there's there's anime you gotta get into. It some some anime you just won't like. Some anime you'll just love. So. I think it's levels is if you're new to it, do the cutesy stuff because it'll kind of sort of reel you in. You start watching that kind of stuff when you're kids. Yeah. And then as you get older, you grow and you find out what you were more interested in. Right, right. Sure. For me, it was always the scary, the gory, and the violent. Yeah. <laughs> always. And of course, hentai. They got me watching <laughs> hentai since like eighth grade. Damn. So how, how'd you find out about hentai? By accident. <laughs> <laughs> that sounds like everybody. By I blame you too. You know, I found I found out. Google. Yeah, I found out about hentai through. It was a person at school, and he had like print. He had printed out like uh, hentai on his computer, and he brought it to school. Oh God. And he showed me. I'm like, what the fuck? 
you know, and it, it was a it was a uh, anime character I know, so it's like wow, that where the fuck you find this? You yeah, know? like the whole Scooby and <laughs> yeah, so, um, yeah, they be pushing, they be pushing boundaries. That's that's for sure. That's for sure. <laughs> Ruining. There's a there's a thing called Rule Thirty Four or something like that. that. If you type that in, it'll basically type the type Rule Thirty Four in, and any anything on the internet, it basically shows a porn version of it. Oh, really? Yeah, anything. So. You can type in your favorite show. It could be a real show, a cartoon, or whatever. But type Rule 34 after it, you'll see, and go to images, you'll see porn. Okay. So, do you feel like the adult industry will probably get in the way of being the mom? Absolutely not. No? Absolutely not. Because my, at the end of the day, I don't care what I'm doing. Mm -hmm. My kids are my priority. Period. I will quit a job in a heartbeat. <laughs> okay. If they try to tell me my kids are not important, like that's that's a no go for me. Right. I don't care. I will do anything and everything to make sure that my kids are well taken care of and they got everything they need and want. Okay. I look at granted, yes, I'm into, you know, everything sexual and I like the adult industry, but at the end of the day nothing takes precedence over my kids. Absolutely nothing. That's what's up. Well, how would you feel if one of your kids, or all of your kids, fell into your footsteps as far as wanting to be like an adult industry. I would help them get there. Okay. I have no reservations on any of that kind of stuff because at the end of the day, it doesn't matter if I like it or not. It yep. doesn't matter if what they're doing is making me happy. What matters is I raise them right. Uh -huh. They stay out of jail. They stay out of trouble. They live their lives. Right. They are allowed to do whatever they feel like they need to do to be happy. Even if that's being a porn star, as long as they don't end up dead or in jail, I'm okay. Okay. Yeah, that's, that's very reasonable. You know, some people have hold strong expectations for their children, and you know. And don't get me wrong. Like I have high expe high expectations for my kids, but my biggest thing that I want for them is I want them to be happy. I don't want them to ever feel like they have to hide who they are right. from me. Right. Ever. I don't want to be that type of parent. I want them to understand that I am their mom, but I can also be a companion, somebody they can come to if they absolutely feel like they need to. Right. So I don't do the judgmental. I know how a lot of parents, um, especially dads, are very, very um, off-put with the thought of their boys being gay or bisexual. Yeah. If one of my boys turn out that way, you know what? Fine. I'll you know make sure I let them know. Hey, you need to do X, Y, Z. Make sure you're safe. Protect yourself. Mm -hmm. But I mean, same thing with women. Yeah. So, either way it go, whatever makes them happy, I support it. Yeah, I mean, you just gotta lean over seat. 
necklace, you know, you got a whole bunch of shit right here. Yeah. I just seen that on the interstate, so I'm just an ass all in the window, like, I don't know what you're doing. <laughs> yeah, most definitely. And back when I went home to visit, there was a guy, and he was swerving, but I was like, bro, if you can't drive straight, you should not be getting head while you're driving. You have got to be able to act normal <laughs> when you're doing that. If you can't, your ass is going to get pulled over and up. Uh, that's what that ticket's called? Yes. Have you got that? Yes. <laughs> 20 minutes later. Well, looks like we made it to our destination. Yep. Any last uh, things you want to say to the people out there that's watching? I don't know how long this video might be, guys. So. Um, only thing I have to say is life is short. Have all the sexual fun you can have while you can have it. There you go. No reservations. No, no reservation, no reserva no, reservation. <laughs> no, no reservations. There you go, no reservations. Oh man, that's fucking crazy. This is the most interesting conversation I've never had. I'm sure. I have no filter. Wow, no filter at all. You should see how I am at work. My manager should shake their head and walk off. Hey, you fucked your manager? Nope. Oh. No, because I've always, I've normally you always. Did you ever think about it? <laughs> <laughs> I've normally, I have normally always been the manager. Oh, okay. That makes sense. Yes, I have fucked some of my employees who hasn't. Okay. That's that's typical. That's typical. Yes. Work that's husbands, bad. work work no, wives. No, no, no. Was no work husbands. Was no work wives. It was just like you keep looking at me. Yeah. All right, guys. That concludes the video. So. If anything, y'all go follow her on our social media. I have it in the description. So where can they find you at for the people that don't want to read? Instagram is really the only thing I'm on besides TikTok. Uh, my Instagram is just Alex McGee. Alex McGee. Follow her. And hey, and we out. A few inches later.